Hi everyone, my name is Jeff Stewart, I'm with Lizard Tech, and today I'm going to overview how to um, configure WMS and Express Server uh, for use in other GIS applications. Express Server is a, uh, a great way uh, to serve out imagery, especially compressed imagery like Mr. SIDS and JPEG, uh, JPEG 2000s. Um, it can serve imagery and, uh, and LiDAR. And um, is a real lightweight application, super quick, um, and uh, is very easy to set up and configure and manage. So to set up WMS, you need to first um, access your catalogs. And your catalogs um, are accessed via the Express Server Admin menu. So here's the login page for it. Went ahead and logged in. You see here I have a listing of all my catalogs, the name, the path, the uh, EPSG code for coordinate reference system, what kind of data it is, if it's, if it's enabled, and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and select Dry Tortugas. My Dry Tortugas catalog, um, it brings up, say, so well, these are the basic properties, you know, name, and whether or not it's enabled in, 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 as a catalog, um, indexed, etc. Um, advanced, this is where you uh, describe, well, this is where you select whether or not the item can be downloaded using the Express Zip, Clip Zip, and Ship app, uh, application that uh, comes with Ex Express Server. Um, you know, you can give it some custom properties. This is, uh, this, using custom properties, defining these, this really um, describes uh, and sets forth the um, how your data is going to be displayed on the browse page, um, the internet browse page for your Express server. We're most interested in WMS layer properties, so those are accessed by within the WMS tab here. You can see here at the top, if you tab over, there's a bunch of tabs. Um, each of these has to do with a um, an OGC uh, a WMS uh, standard property. Um, so you can see over here, excuse me, uh, basic. So this is where I put in um, my title. Um, you can see I, I entered in Dry Tortugas National Park, and I put in what uh, EPSG code corresponds to the CRS. Uh, this time it's, it's 4326. I just have straight up WGS84 um, for this data. Keywords, this is really, again, you can add keywords to your WMS and um, and they will be, you know, you could potentially query against them. They're going to be available in the XML document. So if you're a developer, you can um, access and, and uh, make queries against these keywords, potentially. Attribution. And um, again, you know, sometimes you want to make sure that, you know, especially if you're making a mashup of a bunch of different types of data, that you have uh, at proper attribution for the data. Um, I got this data from USGS Earth Explorer. Um, it's uh, high-resolution ortho imagery that they offer there. So I put USGS Earth Explorer here uh, in the URL. You can also put in a logo if you have a link to the logo. You can put in a logo, the format, PNG, bitmap, etc., and, um, and the dimensions. There's some additional um, OGC uh, WMS 1.1.1 standard uh, fields here, uh, properties, metadata, if you want to um, specify a particular URL where there's uh, data about the data that you are um, serving out in this WMS. In my case, I don't have anything additional. Um, scale hint, um, if that's if there's a uh, minimum maximum scale that you would like to suggest uh, that the data be viewed in, um, authorities, if there's any, uh, you know, uh, specific authorities governing the, the, you know, the format or the information um, that is being uh, displayed in the WMS. I don't have anything additional for that, but again, uh, you know, this is, uh, these are the places that uh, using these, these uh, properties, this is where you can um, put all that different information in. Uh, OGC publishes out a specification 
for WMS 1.1.1 that also provides definitions for what all the what can go into all these different um, properties. If you make any changes uh, to your WMS or pretty much to anything inside of Express Server using the Express Server admin um, interface, you want to make sure that a the data is saved and b that the data is published out. So now that I have made a couple of changes, I think, or even if I haven't, uh, I like to make sure that I hit publish. The publish, you know, you, you won't get the latest and greatest data um, served out unless you hit publish. So this publishes it to the actual services. So now that's done. I can come over here. I'm going to refresh. This is my, again, this is my Express Server bra Internet Browse page, sort of the Internet front end. Um, internet front door to uh, Express Server or your Express Server instance. Well, you can see I have this running on my local machine. It provides not only a graphical listing of all the catalogs that you are um, serving out. For example, here's my dry tortugas. I, I can select it and I can actually kind of, I can zoom in and use the web to look at um, the data and kind of examine it, examine the data before I bring it into my application potentially. So right here, I am viewing a WMS over the web of this particular data set. I'm going to go back. And when it comes to GIS applications, the most important thing here is our Git capabilities link for WMS. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that. This is what we use when we're setting up a WMS in something like ArcMap or uh, QGIS or something like that. This is the, the link I need in order to begin setting up that WMS in, the app, in that uh, desktop application. So now I'm going to switch gears. I'm going to open up ArcMap. Um, full disclosure, I've already opened it up because uh, it can sometimes take a while to start. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and add my express server i you know i've added this before um because this is my local machine and i've been using it a lot for different things but i'm going to go through the exercise of, of adding a new wms just so uh, you're clear on, on how to do it so to add a new wms server you select add a new wms that uh, you copy and paste paste the uh, get capability get capabilities link into this add wms server url field now you hit Git Layers. This shows you a listing of all the layers and the different information for each layer that you've assigned. So, for example, for uh, Dry Tortugas, um, I have my in the name of my catalog, supported SRS. It does not support identify. So it gives you some information about how that how that WMS is structured. Okay. Um, seeing as uh, this, there's no two-factor authentication or username and password authentication and for that, uh, for this WMS, it's just an open WMS. I don't need to um, do anything here when it comes to account. Again, I've already set this up in, uh, in ArcMap before. Now, if I wanted to, uh, if I want to add this um, server, I just select OK. And it comes in as a list, as just another um, connection in my in my GIS servers listing. Um, I, I definitely have added this before, so I'm going to select it. Let's see here, um, just Stewart's Demo Express Server. I'm going to head and add that. You can see here's a listing of all my layers. Dry Tortuga National Park is the one I'm going to select. And boom, there you go. So now that I've selected it, you can see that it is now displayed on my map. And it's displayed on top of, of projected on top of um, their World Street Base map, which is another map service um, that is uh, uh, streaming in to my art map. You can see here's the performance. The performance of Express servers over WMS is really pretty good, even over some of the, the poorest links. 
let's say I wanted to um, bring in the same WMS stream, the same Dry Tortugas data into QGIS. So I just bring up my QGIS. I would come over here where it, uh, where it says add WMS WMTS layer. So I'd select this. Again, I, I've already added this before because I've been using this data uh, um, in lots of different applications. But if I wanted to add a new server, let's say I was starting from the beginning, I would just come in here. I would add Jeff's demo server or, or whatever you want to call it. Copy in or paste in, rather, the Git capabilities link for my Express server. Again, I, I'm not using any sort of authentication for this. I'm not using any sort of authentication. Hit OK. Now that I've specified the URL and some of the other properties, I'm going to hit Connect. Just like in ArcMap, or very similarly in ArcMap, here's a listing of all the data. Let's select Dry Tortugas. Um, down here, image encoding. Um, the default is GIF. I, uh, I find that JPEG for Express Server um, displays some of the more sharp, display sharper images. So I'm going to select that. Um, you can see that WGS84 is the coordinate reference system, uh, is the primary coordinate reference system for this data set. The layer name, Dry Tortugas National Park. Go ahead and add it. Close this. Here you go. So now you can see that we've made that connection to Express Server, and it's displaying, streaming in a web service of this Dry Tortugas National Park data. Voila. Again, man, the, uh, the performance of uh, Express Server WMS for this high-resolution data is really, really good. It's one of the nicest things about Express Server. So how quickly and how easy it is to use it, especially to uh, serve out WMS. Um, one other thing, um, for users of our uh, GeoViewer product, you can also view Express or WMS and Express Server feeds inside of GeoViewer. So I brought up the GeoViewer uh, instance. I'll come over here to File. I'm going to add some uh, base map data there. So I'm going to select OpenStreetMap, and it's going to bring in an OpenStreetMap um, layer, so World Streets. Um, I'm going to add a WMS layer in this case. So here we go, WMS server URL. I've already put this in before, um, but you know, if I wanted to, I could just paste it, repaste it in again, hit connect. Here we go, server layers. Here's a listing of all my data that I'm serving out. Here's Dry Tortugas, I'm going to add that as a layer. Format image PNG, I can do JPEG, PNG, whatnot. Um, select EPSG, I'm going to have uh, 4326, I believe. And here you go. It automatically zoomed to it because it's the only other layer here. But you can see it's um, it's overlaid dry tortugas on top. Of the map. As I zoom out, you can see here are the keys, Key West, here's Dry Tortugas National Park. I'll zoom in here. As I zoom in, you can see the Mr. Sid just naturally scales by WMS. Super quick, super easy, super fast. Here's the here's the uh, OpenStreetMap layer, kind of resolving in there, kind of coming into view. And here's our imagery right on top of it. So, anyway. so there you go. That's it. Um, that's the end of my uh, discussion about how to configure and use WMS from Express Server.
Uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. And um, if you have any questions regarding any of this, please contact Lizard Tech at support at lizardtech.com. Thanks very much, and have a great day.